You may have read the title of this video and probably thought, you're crazy. What do you mean the strongest battlegrounds is trash? Well, let me take a walk around map with you as I explain exactly why this game has just fallen into, as I call it, a category of just a bad slash trash game. So, first of all, the first thing that kind of causes a problem for me is toxicity in this game. There are so many players who just go around spamming the L emo. I have it equipped for this video specifically. They just will go around and just sit and spam this emote when they kill you or they'll just, you know, hit some random emote on you. And obviously, you know, that's that's fine. I mean, they can keep doing that, but it's just the fact that they just overdo it too much. The fact that it's just being overdone just kind of annoys me uh, in this game. It's just it's just being done way too much, and people are just overusing emotes in the game for toxicity purposes. Another reason that toxicity is taking over the game is because of chats. For example, people will just go into chat, and as soon as they kill you, they'll spam L or Easy, or they'll say you, or the, or they'll just trash talk you, and then they'll just make you rage quit or something. I'm just tired of having this happen, and you know. There's another problem, it's the fact that sometimes Roblox's reporting system doesn't even do anything about it. Like, for example, like, sure, you can you can text chat and you can go, like, swearing inappropriate username, blah, blah, and bullying and stuff, but most of the time, Roblox's moderation doesn't even do crap about it, and you can't really, like, ban them. And another thing, you can't even report them to the Yielded Ar Yielding Arts Discord server. I, and yes, I tested this before. Let me just show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. To show you guys what I'm talking about, here we are in the Yielding Arts Discord server. And as you can see, I'm on the rules page because, as you can see, there's nothing that really enforces rules inside of the game specifically. Like, obviously there are rules like no exploiting and blah blah, but... There need to be some kind of rules about toxicity in the game, because there's just way too much of it. Like, yes, there's toxicity rules and all that for the server, but <clears throat> there's just nothing that says, like, hey, you shouldn't do this in the game. At least as far as I've read. As you can see, you know, game-related questions, blah, blah, avoid starting drama and stuff. And, you know, obviously you can't do this in the game, but still, there's no such thing as reporting teamers or anything. And I know exploiting is, yes, against the rules, and all that. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, it's just kind of bad, because you can't even report someone for teaming, you can't report, you can report them for being toxic, but half the time, uh, they won't even get banned. They are just, um, you know, it's just kind of dumb, that you can't, like, you literally just can't do anything about exploiter, about, uh, or you can't do anything about, like, if someone's, like, teaming or something in game and all that. And a bonus, if your account, let's say you're, and if you're also, it, let's say if your account gets hacked and someone exploits on the game, you can't even, like, uh, you can't even get your unbanned, you can't even get unbanned because of it, because according to them, they don't unban because... Someone else was on my account. If the account you, you should be careful who you give access to. Yeah. What if you get hacked though? There's nothing that says you can, that uh, that says uh, even if you hack, you know, uh, or if you get hacked and then someone hacks on your account to get away with it. Yeah. There's nothing that says, you know, yeah. It, it's just it just sucks that you can't even appeal those. Like, it should. Like, sure, like, even if you secured your account a bunch and you still got banned, like, you, there should be a way to appeal that, which kind of is another thing that also annoys me. Obviously, I've never exploited in the game because I would never do that, but still, the fact that this is just kind of here and plagues it just kind of also annoys me a little bit, too. The next issue I have to cover about this game is when you get a kill, is, uh, the teaming that I was talking about, uh, while I was talking about that. Um... When I was talking about teaming, I was kind of saying, like, hey, you know, uh, when it comes to, like, teaming, you know, you can't really report teamers. And that's also kind of a problem that plagues this game. There are just so many people who will go around teaming because they think it's right. They, and you can't really stop them either. So it's just, that's just also another thing that kind of plagues this game. And, you know, it just makes it worse for me and I think the whole player base as a community. 
And another thing, also, is the fact uh, of kill streaks. Look, kill streaks are a nice system. I kind of like it. It's kind of like a challenge. Like you're always wanting to, you know, get the top kill streak. You know, I get it. It's it's a good challenge for you know everyone, and everyone would like to get a kill streak. But the problem with the kill streak system is the fact that, um, sorry, is the fact that it will, um, is that you get targeted, uh, and you get teamed on, and it's just kind of annoying me. The fact that I'm going to get teamed on for having a dumb streak, uh, in the game, and, um, you know, yeah, and I get it. Like, people just want to take your streak because they want to test their skill. They want to see if they can actually beat the guy with the kill streak. That's all fine, but you shouldn't team to do it. It's just kind of annoying me. And I hope that uh, this can maybe get fixed. I don't. If it doesn't, it's. I guess it's a little bit fine. I don't care as much as kill streaks because I don't really play in public servers as much as you think I do. I only play in them if I'm like uh, just bored, I guess. But most of the time, I'm usually a private server guy who likes to just play around with commands and stuff. It's just kind of. That's just kind of what I do. So. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the things that are plaguing this game for me, and it's exactly the reason why I am actually going to be quitting this game for a while. That's right, you heard me. I'm quitting for a while. It's just that I really just don't want to play this game with all these problems that are plaguing it right now, and, you know, since these problems just plague it so much, I feel that I just don't even want to play this game as much as I had wish to anymore. So... The fact that I don't, you know, feel f like I'm having any more fun in this game because of the problems that plague it, it's just kind of, you know, a problem for me. So what does this mean for future Strongest Battlegrounds videos? Well, first of all, I won't be doing many, and there probably won't be any about updates or anything. If you only get updates on the game, you're going to have to go find another YouTube channel that does updates on the game. Um, for example... I would trust Holy Gra the Holy Grail the most because he's probably the most reliable source that the game actually has. And he's also a very good YouTuber in my eyes. Also, for the giveaway that I promised I was going to do for, you know, the Atomic Samurai 4 release, that will still happen. I just, um, I just won't be doing, like, a full guide. I just don't feel like, you know, remaking that. It was just so much work to do it last time, and, uh, if you really do want, like, updated guides and stuff, you're just going to have to find another one. So I apologize for that. And one last thing before I uh, head off here is even if the dev... Or if the dev is able to fix these problems, I might go back to playing the game. It's just that I feel like there should be up to the developer to try to fix these problems. And if you uh, disagree or agree with my opinion, I'm not... I don't really care. You can spread as much hate about me as you want about my opinion, but my opinion is my opinion, so even if you do spread hate about it, I really will not mind, because it's your opinion, and mine. So, anyways, that's all I have for you guys, okay? Uh, and I will see you guys in a future video, hopefully. And, again, I apologize for the fact that I'm going to be quitting this game for a while and not making content on it. Again, like I said, it's just not my style game. And for anyone who's wondering about the forest, it will be coming out this month. Just wait. It's coming. I promise. See you guys later.